Hi Facebook, this is Sandy with Trending Designs by Sandy. Give me just a second to get my page pulled up so I can see you guys. And forgive me because I am in my work clothes. I've only been home for a little while. School started back last week and I am still trying to get in to the groove of the picking up and getting off of, off of work and picking up my daughter. Um, so, give me just a second here. Let's see here. Forgive me because my internet seems to be just a little on the slow side. So when you get on, if you want to say hi, tell me where you're from. Okay, so here we are. So I hope everyone is having a good Tuesday. Um, Tuesdays are my busy day at my 9 to 5 job. Um, get very busy with people coming in. Um, so I'm trying to kind of unwind. And since I have an event every Saturday, um, I've been trying to come home after work and make new things. Um, but this one particular item I'm going to make tonight is something that um, I keep selling out of um, at the events. Um, and it's simply a tile, um, a ceramic tile like you would use um, on your flooring in your kitchen um, that I have um, chalk painted and sealed and I am now going to put my transfer on top of it and it's used for like hot plates um, we have one in uh, our kitchen my husband uses it as his coffee station um, so his coffee cup the sugar the coffee all of that sets on top of it um, it gets spilled on, it has sugar on it all the time, but it's easily washed right off with some soap and water and it won't take the design off and I'll go through all that as well. So I'm going to turn the camera down and go ahead and get started. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will get them answered. So this is my tile um, that I'm going to be using. And like I said, it's been a great seller um, at my events. Somebody actually stopped at my booth um, to pick one up this past Saturday, and I'm like, I'm sorry, it's sold. Um, so I promised um, to have some new ones set up for this coming Saturday. And since I live in kind of a rural, not a rural, but... Um, more of a farming type of a community. Uh, the country stuff has been really good sellers for me. So I'm just going to grab my transfer here, which I already have pulled out. Sitting on my towel to fuzz it up. I'm gonna fuzz it one more time just because this is a slick surface. Move that over to the side. And all I've done with this is paint it with some chalk paint, and then I used, um, well, I sealed it first, and then I put um, a couple of coats of dishwasher safe Mod Podge on it um, so that it is washable um, and you can place food items on it, um, and it's not going to hurt your food items. Life. Sorry, teenager coming through. So I fussed this up a little bit, and I'm just simply going to align it onto my tile here. And this transfer fits perfect from side to side on this tile. And then I'm just going to kind of press down, make sure I don't have any air bubbles. And
And again, as you jump on, say hi. Tell me where you're from. If you're ready for summer and this heat to be over with. I'm ready for the heat to be over with, but I'm not ready for snow, which we do get here. Okay, so it does not feel like I have any air. Nice. Look at, yeah. Doesn't feel like I have any air bubbles. Hi, Kendall. Hi, Gwen. Thank you, Kendall. Does it look familiar? I came home from work and I have been getting ready for my live and I did not change my shirt. Don't tell. So I have my transfer adhered to my ceramic tile and I'm just gonna grab out my black chalk paste. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Super familiar, yes. Isn't it an attractive color? I really dislike yellow and I don't look good in yellow. Even though I wear it five days a week, at least in the summertime. In the wintertime I don't wear it because it's cold and I need warmer clothes. Let me grab a squeegee here. And then I'm just gonna simply start applying the chalk paste. Was it super busy up there, Kendall? Tuesdays are generally super busy for us. Usually our busiest day, at least with people coming in and wanting to chat. I feel like I don't get a lot accomplished on Tuesdays. So I'll have a ton of stuff to get caught up on tomorrow. This is a super quick project, especially because I do the whole chicken in the black. And then down at the bottom, it has like some um, like markings for grass or maybe chicken scratch, I guess. Um, and I'll paint those white. We'll scrape off all the excess so we don't have any waste. Scrape it back into the jar. Put the lid back on, put that over my water bath, and then I'm gonna grab the white out. Stir this one up real quick. Kendall, I get that on a regular basis. People come in and they yell at me and then it's like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just following the rules. If you paid my paycheck, I'd follow yours. But I get that too. I get every day somebody wants to pay for fees, storage fees and get told that they can't and then well can I pay with a credit card I'm sorry uh, we don't take payment can I pay cash no we don't take payment and it goes on from there I feel like I should just have my voice recorded on the counter although I don't think they'd listen to it any more than they listen to me live and Emily, do you see my uh, Clorox wipes? Can you bring me the Clorox wipes, please? Okay, thank you. And we're just going to hold this up. 
They might be. And then put that in my water bath. And ta-da! I love the ta-da. And it kind of glares a little bit on the camera because it's got a shiny background. Thank you, sweetie. Um, can you see the whole thing? Let's see. I never did like, towards oh, me? Yeah. Like towards your chest, yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. But it's kind of glary. I'm trying to get the glare off. I'm not sure. Can you see a glare on that side? It's hard, huh? No, I think you're good. You think I'm good? Yeah. No, it's still got a glare. There we go. Is that better? Thank you. This has been at my super seller for the summer at the um, farmer's market. And I'm completely out of them, so I'm like, all right, I've got to make some. I got all my bases done. I got them painted this weekend. And uh, now I just got to put the dis different designs that I have for them. And we're going to put one more across the top. And all I'm doing is putting Farm Fresh across the top. And then I have another transfer that I will put down the side over here um, that just says eggs. Farm Fresh eggs. And like I said, it's been a super, super seller this uh, summer for me and people are remembering me when they come out because are remembering what I've had at my booth because someone specifically asked me for one of these on Saturday so we got that grab my squeegee again grab me some white and these are so quick and easy to do. Just add this. Farm Fresh. It says Farm Fresh Produce, but I'm not doing the produce part since we're working with chickens. Scrape off the excess, put it back in the jar. Put my squeegee in there. And then I'm just going to pull this up. There we go. And we got Farm Fresh. And slight glare. Give me just a second for it to catch up. There we go. And because this is a ceramic tile on the back, it just looks like this. And what I'll do is I'll add these little felt circles. Um, I have different sizes, that one's too big. So we'll use these and I'll basically just hot glue them on. And there will be nine of them on here. And these are easy to pick up at the dollar store and they'll just glue on and that way it won't scratch the counter. You can't submerge it in water, but the top is completely washable once I seal it again with um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. It will be perfect. 
just want to make sure I don't scuff it up before it dries completely. I'm going to set that aside. And then I think I'm going to ink a bag. That one sold fairly quickly too. I just had a, a farmer's market bag and someone, uh, someone purchased that as well with the chickens on it. So let me just wash this transfer real quick. Questions? Thank you, Kendall. So we're just gonna wash this real quick. Can you pull this um, back just a bit? Gently because it's got water. Back. Yeah, pull it back towards you. No, no, the, the container. Yeah, perfect. Now I can wash this off. We should have a washer on this anyway. That's it. Can you, um, in that chair right there, mm -hmm. there is a board eraser. It's a white circle. One of those packages should be open. No, oh, maybe not. Is there a board eraser? Oh, here it is. Give me just a moment to wash this off. And paper towel. Hi Rita, how are you tonight? So I just finished a tile, like a, a kitchen trivet for putting your hot plates or hot pans on it. So all I'm doing is putting an ink mat inside my bag so that the ink doesn't go all the way through. Get all my wrinkles out. And Rita, I'll show you my plate that I just finished. So it just has the double chickens on it. It's been a great seller um, at my farmer's market. Um, somebody actually came by my booth um, on Saturday um, wanting to buy one and I was completely sold out of them so I thought I would make a few more um, this week um, I have my bases all done and basically it's just chalk uh, I chalk painted a tile I sealed it and then I put um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge over the top so that it was ready to put my transfer on and then once it dries I'll seal it with a couple of more um, coats of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge and then it's ready to go um, it can be washed um, you can put you know whatever on it um, we have one in the kitchen and we use it as our coffee station uh, well my husband does um, the coffee station, it's got, you know, his sugar, his coffee, his little stir spoon. Um, I swear it's always sticky. I constantly have to wash it because he makes a mess. Thank you. I love it too. So, I'm also going to make a bag using the same transfer because I sold out of those as well. 
You want a bag? A tote bag, yeah. With chickens on it? <laughs> no. Okay. My teenager is saying she needs a bag, and I asked her if she wanted it with chickens on it, and she said, nope. So she'll have to decide what she wants on hers. This is a little wet. And basically all I'm doing is making sure I don't have any air bubbles and that my transfers adhere to my bag. And then I have my mat inside to prevent my ink from bleeding through. It also is sticky on one side, so it keeps the bag in place as well. And then we are just going to kind of ombre this with some oranges and a kind of a brown color. Oh, whoops, those are, sorry, hold on just a moment. Those are not inks. These are paste. I need my ink since we're working with fabric. So we're going to use some yellows, sort of burnt orange, a brighter yellow. It's going to be a colorful chicken. I might even add a little bit of this burgundy color as well. Wash up my squeegees real quick. So I can stir all my colors. I was just telling everybody, Rita, I'm really tired of the heat. I'm not ready for snow, but I am so done with the hot weather. Especially yesterday after working outside all day. It is an awful job in that heat, in those cars. They smell bad. And then I'm just using my paper towels to wipe everything off. Thank you, Rita. I appreciate that. I think there's a bunch of lives going on. I saw a number of them before I came on. But I'm like, well, I was supposed to do this live last night. I didn't because I was in a second part of a training class. And by the time it was over and I was done working in my journal and my calendar book, I'm like, I am just too tired. So I'm like, all right, I got to do it tonight. All right, so we are ready to start. And basically all I'm going to do is put a number of dabs all over it. Then I'm going to mix them in so there won't be any rhyme or reason to it, but you'll see afterwards how it turns out. And I love this effect. And basically I'm just stirring up my inks. They don't need much stirring on the inks. It's not like the paste where you want to mix it up each time you use it, but I still try to do it on the inks every few times I use them. Oops, that still has quite a bit on it. So I'll wipe that off. And all I'm doing is wiping it on a Clorox wipe just to clean it so that I'm not uh, contaminating my colors. And we're just going to take some colors and kind of put them on here randomly. No sense of No sense of style, just random. Grab another one, take some different colors. Hi, Michelle. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in forever. Mm -hmm. Are you in Crescent City? How's that new grandbaby? How's that new grandbaby? 
Okay, and I'm just going to start mixing these together. Oh, I miss you too. One of these days you're going to have to come out. Because I don't know when I'm getting back there. Loving your little man, I bet you are. He's absolutely adorable. Uh, Kenny, they had a baby. Oh, no way. Yeah. She was pregnant when we were out there last. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to add some of this pretty burgundy color in here as well. Just kind of mixing it around. Like I said, there's no real rhyme or reason to this for the colors, for it to come out the way that it does. You just simply are mixing them around. In your home already, that was a quick visit, unless I'm behind on how many days you were actually gone. Bruce's mom is coming for a visit. My mother-in-law, I'm not sure of the dates yet, um, but um, she's coming for a week or so. I think a week. I'm not quite sure. Um, she said a week though. Hey, Michelle. That was Emily, Michelle, saying hi. Hi, Em. She's standing off of the camera view. You know, on her pages, she'll, you know, post all of her selfies, but on mine, she won't even get in front of the camera. <laughs> Them dang teenagers. And then we're just going to put some color up here. A little bit more color up here. And a little bit more color down here. And as you can see, all my fingers have different colors on them. From dipping it into my different inks. And we're going to add just a touch more color up here. And then I think we're going to do some orange down here. Around his legs. Can you find me a, or op open that drawer for me, please? Mm -hmm. so I'm going to put some green down at the bottom. So on this particular transfer, there's some like lines that could be either um, chicken feed you could use it for, um, grass. On this particular one, we're going to use it as grass. So Emily's got me a jar of green over here. And the green. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So this is um, this is an old jar. This is our two ounce ink that um, first when it first came out last a year ago this past March. And this is my last jar of it. And I love this color. When it retired, I grabbed several of them and I've used them all. I used a lot of it at Christmas time last year. I'm just adding some green, scraping off our excess, scrape it back into our jar, do that. Grab me a wipe here. And this is going to be our last project. Oh, it was just a weekend visit. I know. That J-O-B thing gets in the way. Mine definitely gets in the way of me getting to play with my, my chocotour stuff. All right, and now for the reveal. Grab a hold of this. Pull up. And now this one I won't be able to finish on air because it's going to need to be um, heat set. 
before I can put another transfer on it. But here is how the chickens turned out. And I'm not overly concerned with this um, little oops up here at the top um, because my Farm Fresh is going to go across the top of the bag. And I will do it in that green color so that it completely hides it. And I'll post pictures um, tomorrow when it's all done. Let's see if I can get the whole thing on the camera here. Can you see it in the rear camera? Mm, a little bit. A little bit? Like that? Yeah, there. there we go. So that's our little twin chickens. So the first project was on the tile, and then the second project was on this little um, canvas bag um, for like, you know, shopping at the farmer's market where I will be on Saturday. Thank you, Rita. I love how, you know, the fall colors, because we're all getting excited about cooler weather, or at least I am because I can't take this heat anymore. And so it just kind of fits in with that, you know, going into falls. And plus your chickens, well, my chickens anyways, they're all different colors. They're white, brown, um, white, brown, the kind of black, gray. Except for my rooster. My rooster has beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, but my chickens, not so cute. They're just a mess. So this was the other one, in case there's any new people on here. I don't know if you saw it, Michelle. This is um, just a ceramic tile that you would you know, use on your kitchen floor. Um, I didn't like the way it looked, so I chalk painted the base of it. Um, I sealed it, and then I put uh, dishwasher safe Mod Podge over the top. I chopped on it. It will be sealed with two to three coats of dishwasher safe Mod Podge. After it cures, it is good to go. You can wash this and wash this, and your design is not coming off of this. I've had one in my kitchen um, since March of 2018. It's been washed, I don't even know how many times. Uh, two, three times a week over the course of more than 52 weeks, and it's still there. Um, and it was just one I just practiced on. So it doesn't have any specific design on it, except it just has a bunch of farm animals, which kind of fits in with the theme around here. I don't know, Michelle, if you heard, I got a, um, a baby cow, a little girl. She's about nine months old. And now I have um, all my goats back. I made Bruce go get my goats back um, from the neighbor. Had to buy the last of them. Um, but I have eight goats, one cow, uh, 13 baby chicks, a rooster, and a hen. Five dogs three and cats. three cats. <laughs> and whatever other little critters decide to run over here that don't get eaten by either the cats or the dogs. So it's a regular, um, it's a regular little farm over here. Does anyone have any questions? Hi, Teresa. How are you? How's the house? Hi, Chandra. Welcome. Oh, McDonald's farm, I know. <laughs> That's how it feels around here, I'm telling you. The animals are eating me out of house and home. One of, the, one of my jobs is going to have to be just to buy animals food. So that was the two projects um, using the same transfer. It took us, what, mm, less than 30 minutes to do um, both of them. Um, ink generally takes a little bit longer um, to apply when you're doing the multiple colors. But I do love how it turned out. And like I said, I'm just going to add um, Farm Fresh up at the top or Farmer's Market. 
Um, either one, I have both of those um, and do little farmers market transfers. Farmers market. Yeah. The teenager says farmers market. E i e i o. <laughs> oh, too cute. Um, I know, and my little you know farmers items that I make they send they tend to sell pretty well over there at the farmers market. I'm really glad that um, I ended up doing it. It's over at the end of next month, and then I have a couple weeks break before I go into the holiday craft fairs. Um, I think I'm signed up for six of them right now um, over the course through the end of October into the middle of December. Um, so it's going to be busy, busy, busy around here. I'm going to have to find some things. Um, I think I'm going to do a bunch of these tiles, though, because they seem to be a hot seller um, and I think they'll be a good seller for gifts I know that two of the ones that have sold specifically um, they were giving them as gifts um, for family members for different uh, I think one had a birthday and one was some sort of an anniversary gift um, so I think that this is going to be something I'm going to concentrate uh, fairly heavily on um, for the holiday season I might even add some that are just holiday themed because they're small, thin enough that you could stick this in a cupboard um, and bring it out for the holidays and just have, you know, happy holidays or, you know, a, a really pretty Christmas tree on the front of it. Um, I might even um, do one later this week with the, the vintage truck. Um, that's the vintage truck has been extremely popular. So... But if nobody has any questions, then I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I appreciate everyone for jumping on. Um, that little button at the bottom, um, if you don't mind hitting it. Um, Facebook doesn't like us to use that word. I don't know why, since the button is there. Um, but if you'd like to show some love, I'd appreciate it. Make some on wood and put a hanger and a bow. That's a good idea, and I have a bunch of wood surfaces that I picked up, um, gosh, months ago, in Tuesday morning, I think, um, which have the, the cord, um, the, what do you call that, like the rope um, already attached to it in different shapes that I could easily add a bow, um, maybe even a couple of the poinsettias uh, for Christmas flowers on there. Maybe I'll do one of those later this week with the vintage truck. So keep an eye out. Um, I'm trying to find a couple of days a week that work for everybody, including myself. Um, my goal is to be doing two lives a week until November um, and then trying to go to three lives a week around November, December, um, and getting up to five days a week. So that's my goal. Um, I'm working on a bunch of goals. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, I will give you a call, Michelle. Do you want me to call you tonight? How about this weekend after my event on Saturday? If you're available Saturday afternoon, I'd love to chat. All right, everyone, I'm going to get off of here. Um, got to get ready for bed. Teenagers got school in the morning, and I got to go to my J-O-B. Um, so I hope everyone has a great evening, and I'll chat with you all later. Night.